start recording. Thanks, Drew. That chat helped me out quite a bit. Um, so uh, if you already tried to start registering, we are aware of some issues. Um, if you haven't, I'm going to share a couple of things with you tonight to show you how to do that. Thanks, Phil. I, I'm on it. Um, and so uh, one more time before I get into my spiel, if you have not changed your name on in the um, chat to whichever camp you'd like to break out to, um, please do that so we get you in the right place. Um, and then I'm going to break into my spiel. So um, if my co-host could help me with uh, starting to move people into the breakout rooms as I talk. Um, so our registration system is up and I want to show it to you. Well, before I show it to you, I'm going to share something in the chat. Um, I was able to spend, we have some new fun tools to play with. Um, one of them is called something called Vidyard. Um, and Vidyard, uh, I've just put a link in the chat. Vidyard is a tool that allows me to record my screen as well as um, myself at the same time. So you can hear my audio and whatnot. Um, and I did just post in the chat, if you did not see that our registration system is up, um, it is up. So I did just post that in the chat. Um, and then um, I wanted to, so that will walk you through how to do registration. A couple of things I wanna share about registration um, that are different this year um, is that you can, if your unit, typically just everybody pay, like gives you the amount, the same amount for camp, your unit's not paying for any anyone or anything from your unit, from your for your kids, that you have the freedom this year to allow them to register on their own. So you go in, so if I were, actually, I have already done this, I'm just gonna walk through it online so you can see it. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen. So to register this year, you're gonna to go to experiencebasecamp.org and you're gonna choose experiences. And for this purpose, you're gonna choose overnight camps. And then you're going to scroll down and choose your location. Uh, for this group, it's gonna be Gilmanton or Manchester. Um, yes, it says Granite Base Camp. Uh, this page is a collaboration between three different um, councils and so these are base camps if they have a base camp that's why it says base camp there then you're going to select your age group um, for overnight camp at, in manchester you're going to select six to ten and click, click book now um, and there are five dates available so i hit select and i already have an account so i'll log in really quickly Great, and so now I can select a date. And I have the choice to choose for one attendee or multiple attendees. In this case, we're all booking multiple attendees because it's overnight. And then I have the choice to choose if I'm gonna make the reservation for all of the attendees and pay for everyone, or if I'm gonna invite my attendees and pay for their reservation on their own, which is new now uh, this year, which is great for those that, um, that, like I said, if, if everybody just pays the full amount um, or as long as the unit isn't paying any amount for them, then you can do this uh, on your own. The one thing I will say uh, and some feedback that I've received, once uh, you send those invites on this side, they're only valid for three days. So you want your families to be ready to go um, on that. But I'll move forward with this so you can quickly see it. Um, and so I've built a test of people uh, I have to fill in my stuff. And so I have two chaperones, I have one adult and I have four youth listed here. And they're all currently paying their camper deposit. And so, which might be a little confusing uh, because you are, uh, because the full price is not listed. Um, in order to pay deposits, we had to put this in a little bit differently. And um, we will be invoiced, if you pay just deposit, uh, you'll be invoiced um, afterwards on our, we'll do that on the backside. Um, and then you can review order. Now, something that I know was upsetting to many people was the conversation about adding, um, uh, having fees to pay for camp. Um, 
And so what we have gone and done is made sure that um, you are able to use PayPal. Not, yes, PayPal. If you use PayPal and your unit checkbook, um, you'll be able to, you won't have any fees to pay. Um, I'm not going to go any further than this because then I would be putting my personal checking information out there. Um, but, oh, it's going to do it for me. Anyway, I'm not going to go through and charge $700 anyway. Um, but I could, if this were my unit account, I could just check this and it would allow me to um, pay without a fee to me or actually or to us. So um, that is how that system works. And then the other side works very similarly, except that. Sorry, I have to go pretty far back. And the system's smart enough to not let me have two at a time. Um, if I invite these on my own. Oh, I lost my list. Oh, because I'm not logged in. Uh, I have a list here. I just want to log in so that I don't. Um, oh, I am logged in. OK, so anyway, you can uh, you'll have you'll build that same list. That's not what I wanted. All right, I got distracted or discombobulated. Um, you will, sorry, I have to go back through this. I apologize. Um, There we go, here's my test. So in this case, I would hit test and I'd fill in my information again. I would hit continue. Um, and then instead of ordering, I would send email invitations and they would go to the families and they would follow a link that would allow them to pay. All of that's in the video that I posted in the chat. Um, and then the other piece is that it's really important um, for, that your families know that you only have um, 72 hours to finish that up. The reason for that is that uh, it holds eight, it holds the number of spots that you've reserved for you for that period of time. Um, you can go back and add more later. Um, if I were to add more, I would just go back, not sharing my screen again, let me do that real quick. Um, if I wanted to go back, I would just go this way. Um, and where I was adding to my group, I could just edit and add more people to my group and then you would just send them again. Um, and so you can resend them and you'll also be able to see um, if people have admitted, uh, if people have accepted it and who needs to be resent. Oh, let's, we'll talk about, I just saw some good questions. So let's talk about some of those good questions that I see flying around in here. Um, Michael, I'm working, so the one thing that I do know is that, um, Okay. Uh, the one thing that I do know is that we uh, did, we have a slight coding error and there aren't, is not an easy way to get two free adults yet. It'll come. I'll get it for you. I just, I'm working on that. Um, I expect it to be fixed by the middle of this week. Um, and once it is, I'll um, let everybody know. Can invites be resent? Yes. And additional people can be added later. How many times can we resend the invitation? Um, as many as you want, but I would wait until I would like let everybody know and let them know, hey, I just sent the invitation. Please go follow it up. Yes, you can add more campers. If you're not using PayPal, can you still pay with an electronic check? So, John, if you're not using PayPal um, to do an electronic check, you'll have uh, it'll be uh, on the deposit. You'll have to pay with a credit card. No fee to you. We're going to um, accept those fees. The council is going to accept those fees for us. And then we'll give you an opportunity to pay your uh, deposit with an electronic, or the rest of your fee with an electronic check that is not through PayPal. Can you spell out the, there is no fee, tr fee structure for the electronic check. Uh, no fees to you or to us, from what I understand. If you end up with a fee, please let us know um, and I will refund it back. Um, so when you send the invitation, Scout or Chaperone, um, the uh you want you'll like so say you're sending it to the smith family sorry my dog has to has decided he needs to visit with me um when you send things to the smith family you're going to send two account two to that um and then when they go in they choose adult or chaperone or child or whatever they are 
We like the individual idea of in, in, individual invitations, but we have a few families who may need scholarships that the troop would pay. How would that be handled? You have two options on that one, Judith. You can choose to um, give that give them that money so yeah. that they can do it automatically from their own account, or you can choose to go that you pay for everyone at once. That's up to you. Um, if scouts get camperships and the pack is paying all at once, yeah. how is that handled? So if scouts get camperships from the council, um, those families will be um, uh, told sometime between the 15th and the 30th of March, and they'll be told via email with a gift card, um, with the amount and the gift card code in their email. And so they'll just have to forward that to you to put into your email, uh, to put into your registration. Working on the two free adults, Michael. There still is an early bird special this year. Um, it's $20 off. So uh, early bird payments must be made by March 31st. Um, I won't have the freedom like I've had in the past to, or like we've had in the past to uh, be like, oh, we were a day late. Um, we won't have that freedom. And so if you are late, then you pay the extra $20 per, per camper. If we do a mass registration yep. deposit for all campers, is the way for them to log in and pay their balances on their own? Nope, it's one way or the other. You either need to do it all for everybody or you need to do it individually. Yes, Tom, you can, uh, no. Once you go to register, you it, payment is expected uh, at the time of registration, whether it's a deposit or the in full fee. Um, Matt, you're gonna choose personal. It's a our PayPal account is a business account, but you're gonna choose a personal payment. Um, the application for camperships is on the website. Oh, somebody just posted it in here as well. Thank you very much. All right, those are all the things I had. Um, is any, uh, so are there any other questions relating to the registration system? Awesome, um, y'all know where to find me. If you don't know where to find me, I'll put my email in the chat. Um, I have been talking to people all weekend long, whether it be um, through my email or uh, through, I had some through Facebook Messenger. I've been talking to people like in every method of communication this weekend, um, trying to help out, um, chatting like uh, comments in on Facebook, whatever it was. So thank you very much for being uh, patient with me on that. Um, all right, so before I nor normally this is where I would announce my camp directors. However, we have a special guest um, for uh, tonight. Catherine Unfried is our um, aquatics chair woman, um, and she is super excited to talk about some aquatics opportunities for your campers this year. Catherine, are you ready? There I she am. Is. Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you just great. All right, I wanna tell you all about two dates coming up. The first one is June 3rd and the second one is August 12th. On June 3rd, we are hosting swim checks at Camp Carpenter to prepare your units for summer camp. So any unit who wants to come get their swim checks done ahead of the Sunday camp arrival is welcome to sign up for that and get their swim checks with the aquatics committee. Uh, there'll be a registration for that up pretty soon. It's not up yet, but they'll be at Camp Carpenter all day on June 3rd. If you did the swim checks training last summer and want to do your swim checks for your unit on your own, you are all set to do that. And um, please feel free to reach out if you need any uh, reminders or any help. And if you want to get trained to do swim checks with your unit on your own, uh, those dates will also be coming out posted on the website pretty soon. I'll have one every couple of weeks from now through uh, the start of the summer. Um, and then the second date, August 12th, is a partials day for all of our scouts up at GSR. That's an opportunity for anyone who didn't quite finish their merit badge during the summer to come work with your aquatics committee and some of our merit badge counselors and council to finish up those merit badges you didn't quite finish during the summer. This is a great opportunity for scouts who need a little bit more time to practice uh, before they finish those badges and also it can um, help you be a little bit more relaxed during your time at camp because you'll have another chance to finish things off if you don't get them done. If you want to ask any questions about aquatics in council, either about uh, these events or about other things, I'm going to drop the aquatics email into the chat. It's aquatics at nhscouting.org and I would be happy to answer your questions. So Kat, you do have a couple of questions in the chat already. Um, so before I get to 
the aquatics questions, Scott, yes, I will get the den chief uh, registration fixed at the same time as the free leaders. Um, so the one question is, if kept, kids kept their swim chips from last year, can they bring those and skip swim, swim checks? No, unfortunately or fortunately, swim checks are an every year type thing. There's plenty of reasons someone might not be as good at swimming as they were at the end of last summer. So BSA National has said very firmly and continues to say swim checks are an every year thing. They have to do them again. And that's for that's for staff too. Our we yep. where every everyone is doing their swim checks every year. So staff, um, scout, adults, everyone. Yeah. Uh, Michael, there will not be fees for the um, swim check events. Um, the I am unsure about the partial events. Uh, depending on what what you're doing, uh, we are potentially adding other uh, areas to the partial day. So uh, some some may have uh, fees, some may not. And yeah, so we'll just call it that way. Um, John, the reason the partial day is before the end of camp is because as soon as camp closes, we start putting things away. Unfortunately, the sailboats go in the very back of a, of a shed and then everything gets packed in front of it. Um, and so if we do it at the end of camp, then we don't have anyone to put things away to help us out. And so it adds additional stress to those who would let, uh, who have been at camp for the previous 10 weeks, you know, 60, 70 hours a week. So um, we working with the working with Brian at GSR and with Drew, um, we knew that we couldn't do it after the end of camp. And so that's why it's it, it, that was as late in the season as we could do and meet as many people's uh, many people's needs as possible. I saw a couple other things come through. Yes, the swim checks can be for youth and adults, not just for youth. And um, tags will probably be waiting for you at camp the same way we did swim checks uh, in previous years. So we don't have to worry about shipping tags back and forth between Carpenter and GSR. Um, and the August date is, April, uh, sorry, August 12th. 12th, and yep, it's a Saturday. Will, yep, and times will be available shortly. Um, swim checks can be still performed on day one. Um, but you can get it out of the way with your unit if you choose. Yes, GSR attendees can get swim checks at Camp Carpenter. The swim check is the same um, across national. Yes, adults should also do swim checks and the swim check date is for both adults and scouts. And then Cat um, uh, already answered the question about where tags will be. And then Randy is asking, will the other lake at the back be open this year? That's a Drew question and a GSR question. Uh, how will I, uh, so backing up a little bit. Um, access to the recording when it gets broken down into rooms, they get loaded as three different recordings. This one will get loaded first and then the other breakout rooms, you'll be able to go see those two as well. Um, and we have solved the problem. Um, so we should be able to get all three recordings this time. Um, Mike would like to know, will there be a mechanism for scouts that go to more than one week of camp and or do GSR and then CC as a den chief? Um, are you, what part are you asking for? Cause they'd have to be registered, um, differently. You mean for swim checks? Ah, uh, that's a cat question. Swim checks are good for the full year once you do them. So full 12 months. And um, we're working on a system so we can keep them logged for the council for the whole year. Um, currently, that's an Excel sheet that lives on my computer. So if I coordinate properly with whoever's in charge of the aquatics program at the event you're at, it should absolutely be there. And we are working on that system to make it easier for all our aquatics directors and council. Um, and then there's not a time schedule. Well, the swim checks will happen during open program that day. Uh, on the third, so 10 to four, unless Kat's team decides to come before 10. Um, although swimming in that lake June 3rd, previous gonna be 10 a.m. is gonna be chilly. It's gonna be a little chilly. We're planning 10 to four, um, but again, that will be posted on the website to sign up for soon and the hours will be there so you know for sure. Um, yes, Toby uh, Swim Check can cover kids who are going to day camp as well. Um, day camp kids also have to take the swim checks. Um, and Kristen, if you would like to, uh, contact me regarding questions about summer day camp, you can do that. All righty. Um, as any other questions come in, I will field those, but as always, we have our fearless camp directors and reservation directors to, uh, break you out into rooms tonight. So Drew Rudlewski is the GSR reservation director. 
at uh, covering both uh, Camp Bell and Hidden Valley. And Brett Branscombe is the camp director for um, Camp Carpenter as well as for uh, Granite Base Camp. Um, so they are excited to break out into specific into rooms for you. Um, so I think we are ready to go to those breakout rooms. Are we all set? Yes, John, the registration system that is up for sign up and payment is different from the blue card system. Um, we will have Taewon Jin on the call next month to talk about that with y'all. All right, I think we are ready for breakout. Yes, K-Scout. John Myers, where would you like to go? I'm oh, sorry, Jay Myers, where would you like to go? Oh. Uh, Hidden Valley Bell, please. You bet. Jeremy, are you, Jer are you, is your name actually Jeremy Carpenter or do you want to go to Carpenter? I actually want to go to Carpenter. All right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Peter, I assume you're going to GSR. Um, Stacy, would you like to go to the GSR breakout room or the Camp Carpenter breakout room? GSR, please. You bet. And Steve, do you want to go to GSR, I assume? Yes, please. You bet. Thank you. You're welcome. 